But friends, there's been tons of Navi leaks out there. I mean, we just got the new AMD APU, that Gonzalo leak it had that 1.8 gigahertz Navi 10 Lite GPU. That's insane. Then we got the interview between Mark Cerny of Sony versus Wired, and he let us know that Navi is indeed coming out. There was another rumor that was coming out saying that Navi is gonna be availed at E3. And then the latest one today is that Radeon Navi GPU. We got some spec leaks, my friend. We got some delicious, delicious rumor mill stuff, okay? So let's go through the specs, and then I will, uh, I'll present you with uh, my thoughts on it afterwards. So what we're looking at here is a TDP of 150 watts on a Navi 10 GPU, eight gigabytes GDDR6, offering 410 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth over a 256 bit bus. It's gonna use AMD's new drawstream bidding rasterizer as well as this is the next generation geometry and have boost clocks of over 1.8 gigahertz, a twice, two times increase in L1 cache and increase in their L2 cache and supposedly is going to be competitive with a GTX 1080 slash RTX 2070. But the delicious part, at least according to the latest rumor that's floating out there, is that it's gonna come in at a hot and heavy $259, making it cheaper than a 1660 Ti while outpacing it by quite a bit because a 1660 Ti is basically a 1070. That's some pretty delicious news and rumors. Obviously, rumors need to be taken with the largest grain of salt possible, probably preferably a mine of salt if you have one in your backyard. Obviously, the environment down here is all salt. The, the ceiling's salt, the floor's salt, the walls are salt, and to an extent, the air is salt. And you breathe that in and you can constantly taste the salt. But. There's some good information that actually makes it kind of intriguing. The fact that we've been hearing for ages that $250 for 1080 performance is what we were supposed to get. We did videos last year talking about that's what we were expecting Navi to hold. But then also the boost clock of 1.8 gigahertz seems really reasonable now that we've seen that there's an AMD APU on the 3 d Mark database that actually boasts similar specs. Obviously, this could just be a rumor that was posted on 4chan that uh, basically was a compilation of everything that they're already seeing and it's not new information. And there are some suspicious things like the fact that the memory bandwidth over the 256-bit bus would mean that the memory speed of the GDDR6 is 12.8 gigabits per second, which is strange because GDDR6 comes in 12, 14, and 16 gigabit per second increments and not 12.8. It could just be that uh, maybe AMD is trying to cut costs, so they're actually getting 14 gigabit per second GDDR6 that actually sucks. And so they're down clocking it to 12.8, like they're getting the bottom of the scraps because they're trying to do a reverse Vega where they're not buying the best memory, they're actually getting some weak GDDR6. I don't know, that's huge speculation. I'm just trying to come up with a reason why we would be 12.8 gigabits per second. Obviously that would be me trying to force my narrative into reality as opposed to reality informing my narrative. But uh, you know, that's what we have to do with rumors. We have to make up things that we want in order to feel good about ourselves. But $259 for GTX 1080 level performance, if that's what's actually gonna come out, that is pretty insane considering that Nvidia is dropping cards that kinda suck at that price range, $260, and all you get is something that's between a 1060 and a 1070. If AMD can come in with Navi 10 and just drop a 1080 graphics card, it's gonna be some delicious times, especially for people who have like a six to $700 budget for their graphics card or for their, their gaming PCs, because they could get Ryzen 3000 at a decent price and pick up the $260 graphics card and destroy everybody else in value. That's the end of this hot take. Let me know what you think of this rumor. Is it something that entices you? Do you agree with it? Do you think that Navi's gonna launch at E3? Do you like this $260 for 1080 level performance? I wanna hear from you down in the comments down below. Hit the like button if you like this hot take. Get subscribed for more hot news. And we'll see your smiling faces again in the next one. Bye.